in a period of high inflation, which particular businesses owned by Berkshire Hathaway will perform the best, and which will perform the worst, and why? Well, the businesses that will perform the best are the ones that require little capital investment to facilitate inflationary growth and that have strong positions that allow them to increase prices with inflation. We have a candy business, for example, and the value of the dollar since we bought that candy business has probably fallen at least 85 percent, I would say, 80 to 85 percent. And that candy business uh, sells 75 percent more pounds of candy than it did uh, when we bought it, but it has 10 times the revenues, and it doesn't take a lot more capital. So that kind of a business, any business that can has enough freedom to price to offset inflation and doesn't require commensurate investment or a huge investment to support it will do well. Uh, businesses like our, our utilities, which get, in effect, a bond-like return but require, you know, if you're going to build a generating plant that costs twice as much per kilowatt hour of capacity uh, and all you're going to get is a fixed return and yields on bonds go up perhaps dramatically to get high inflation uh, is not going to do that well uh, in an inflationary period just because it has certain aspects of a bond-like investment and bonds generally are not going to do well uh, in inflation. Charlie? Well, but like our insurance operations, our capital intensive railroad business is certainly one of the best railroads in the world. And our utility operations are certainly one of the best utility operations in the world. And so it isn't all bad to be up there world class in your main businesses. Our railroad, the government's talked about building a high-speed rail system in California. I think they're talking about 800 miles of track. And their estimated cost uh, was about $43 billion. And estimated costs on constructions and things like that go up dramatically, much more often than they get you reduced even by a minor amount. And of course, we paid $43 billion, counting debt assumed, for a rail system which has 22,000 miles of main track and 6,000 plus locomotives and, and uh, 13,000 bridges if you ever want to buy a bridge. Uh, so that, the replacement value of that asset during inflationary already is huge and it would grow dramatically and the world our country will always need uh, rail transportation. Uh, so it, it is a terrific asset to own. I'll just leave it at that.